Hi, I'm Mary Mann, creator of Twisted Yarns. In this video, we will professionally finish the beautiful honeycomb blanket with a super easy outer border. The border not only straightens the edges between motifs, it also accentuates the honeycomb design. Before we start, let's talk about what we have. On this edge, we have all single crochets. Whether you're going on every single one of the motifs, there's single crochets solidly across this. There's no chain one spaces. However, on the side edges of the afghan, we have two possibilities. Across the hexagons, we have single crochet chain ones, just regular moss stitch. And over the trapezoids, we have solid single crochets. We have to make a transition on the trapezoids and on the base of the half hexagons, where there's solid single crochets, we have to transition back to moss stitch. With the wrong side of this last row worked facing us, we're going to insert our hook into the corner and pull up a loop. Chain one and pull the tail end through. We're going to count this chain one as the first single crochet. Now we're going to chain two to create the corner space and then go back into that very same space and work another single crochet chain one. Now we're working along an edge that is solid single crochets. So what we will do is we will skip one and work into the top loops of the next stitch. Chain one, skip one into the next stitch. We're going to work a single crochet in a chain one. Skip one, single crochet. Now I'm making sure that I catch the top two loops. Skip one, single crochet, chain one. Now we're getting to where there's a join, where two motifs come together. So we're going to skip this one and work right into that. And along this edge, all you're going to do is just keep continuing. Skip this one and work into the next one. It doesn't matter as you work these whether the stitch falls at the join or whether it's a space at the join. We're going to continue down this side and I'll meet you at the corner. And we're at the corner. We're going to single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet, chain one, to create the corner space. Now we're presented with two edges on the row below. This first one is the moss stitch already. So all we have to do is skip over to the next space. So we're doing a single crochet, chain one in each of the moss stitch spaces along the side. Now we're at a junction and also at a corner. Now that's a pretty tight little corner how that's assembled. And this is where you have to use your judgment I would place the next moss stitch right into the junction. So a single crochet, chain one. The next motif is the base edge of the trapezoid. So that's solid single crochets. So here we have already done our moss stitch right into the junction there, chain one. We're going to skip one and work a single crochet into the upper two loops of the next stitch. Single crochet, chain one. Skip one and we're going to do this across this motif. Now we're at the corner. Skip one and right into the junction. Single crochet, chain one. Now this corner is very tight into that and it's too close to this so we need to skip over 
to the first space. Single crochet, chain one. And on this side of the hexagon, that's already the moss stitch, so we just follow through. And the true test of whether you did it right or not is does it lay flat? And that lays pretty darn flat. Remember this first chain one at the beginning represents a single crochet, so we just slip stitch into that stitch and you are done. Before we go on, we're going to turn. Now, I'm going to share with you a little secret to making perfect outer borders. On the long edge, I'm going to count how many spaces I have along this edge. And I am going to count the other long edge. And I'm going to compare that number. They should be pretty close to each other. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the shorter edges. And oddly enough, I have 89 spaces on both of the long sides. But when I counted my two short sides, my shorter sides, I found that this side, between the corners and including the corner spaces, this one had 53, and this side had 51 spaces. This side is laying perfectly flat, and that's so 53, I think, is the right number. So all I did was put two markers on the side where I needed to increase. On this row, all we're going to do is continue to do the moss stitch. We have just reached our marker, so somewhere around here, I'm going to put an extra stitch. So this is how you do an increase. You work a single crochet, chain one, and then a single crochet, chain one, in the same space. Now, we could have approached this by doing a decrease on the far side and an increase on this side, and I just showed you the increase. But if you want to do a decrease, you go to the next space, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, and go into the, the next space, pull up a loop. That gives you four loops on hook, yarn over it, and pull through all four. And then do your chain one and continue to work across. And that just did a decrease very, very neatly. The reason you put the yarn over in, because if you don't, and you pull up a loop there, and you pull up a loop there, you get a bar across this stitch. If it's in the same color, it doesn't matter. But if you're changing colors, that bar will be a different color, and it will show up. Is finish this side up. But before I get here, I have to weave this end in so that it's buried. But I'm just going to finish this row, and I'm going to do two more rows of moss stitches now that I'm all evened out. And I'll meet you then. We've just finished our fourth row of moss stitch. And the first row was our transition row. Our second row was our adjustment row. The third and fourth row, we're just plain moss stitch by that point. And look how nice our little corner is turning. We are ready for our final row. So we are going to chain one just to start on this row. We're going to be working from the left to the right. So we're going to insert our hook in the space to the right of where we are. Pull up a loop. Now that loop, it's going to be twisted. And you see the twist here? Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. You just did a reverse single crochet. Now, we're going to give space to our reverse single crochet, and we're going to chain one. Let's do it again. Go into the next space to the right, pull up a loop, and you see how that twists? Yarn over, pull through two to finish the reverse single crochet, chain one. That brings us to our corner. And Here's how I'm going to work this corner. Instead of doing two reverse single crochets in there, I'm going to do a reverse single crochet, chain one, another reverse single crochet, chain one, and yet again another one. 
and chain one. So it's sort of a reverse single crochet moss stitch. Let's look at that edge. Is that not nice? It gives it a, like a little braided edge and it lays so nice and flat. So all we're going to do is go all the way around the afghan and I'll meet you back here because I want to show you how to finish this. There's a little trick to it. Here's the last space. Let's put one in there. Chain one. Now, you want to leave yourself enough yarn tail because this is the trick to finishing this. You have to lay this down over that stitch and take a couple of stitches so that it looks like there is no change like that. I hope you enjoyed crocheting the beautiful honeycomb blanket. But we're not done yet. After all, what's a honeycomb without its bee? In part six, you will learn to crochet the honeybee. Thank you for watching this video. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of upcoming videos and events. Happy crocheting!